So Eric, first of all, congratulations on winning the uh, Canada Cup Elite Series. This is also your first year being on the Canadian team to the World Champs, and you recently got a bronze medal at the NAOC Sprint, as well as being the current Canadian Sprint Champion. Do you think it's fair to say this was a breakthrough season for you? Um, it was, uh, it was a huge improvement on last year. I, I wouldn't go as far as, uh, as uh, calling it a, a breakthrough year. There's still lots and lots of room for improvement. You know, I ran almost 40 races at the A meet level or higher this year, and and uh, there's a you know, if I can improve my consistency that much more, it would you know, it would make a huge difference. Awesome. So was winning the Canada Cup Series a big goal of yours this season? It was a very big goal. I've uh, I've had my eye on this series since. Uh, since uh, we we created it, and um, it's uh, it's really tough. You have to be very consistent. Every race, the points count, and there are a lot of ex really experienced guys who can just pull out uh, good races one after the other. And as a young guy, still trying to figure out the 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 uh, fine art of running a clean race, and uh, it was. Uh, it was I, it was going to be a, a challenging uh, challenging goal, but uh, no, I'm very happy with how it went. Excellent. Uh, can you highlight some of your goals for next season for us? Next year, during the summer, the uh, World Championships in Finland are, are obviously a, a, a big one. Also, uh, during that month month is Oringen, one of my favorite events to go to, and uh, and of course the Canadian Championships is always. So, uh, with the end of the season coming up uh, in the next next week or so, um, are you going to be jumping straight into base training for next year, or are you taking a bit of a break, or is there anything else uh, squeezed into your schedule? Well, I'd, I'd like to get uh, uh, a little bit more orienteering in before the snow comes. Because there aren't any more big races, this is one of my favorite times of year because you can relax a little bit and enjoy the orienteering a little bit more. Uh, maybe get a few nitos in, and uh, and then uh, when the snow f does fall, it's down to to the long, hard trainings, uh, tempo, long runs, and as much skiing as I can get. All right, thanks, Eric. Good luck in your uh, your base training in your upcoming season, and hope you have another good year. Thanks, Jeff.